I'm Matt and welcome back to Rybrook BMW in Shrewsbury. Now if someone had come up to me two years ago and said that today in 2018 I'd have the keys to the brand new M5 and be in the middle of Wales, I would have scoffed at that. But no, it's a reality. Here we are with the brand new F90 M5. We've got miles and miles of beautiful country roads to play with and 600 horsepower. Now let's jump in and see what this car has to offer. reviews of this car online from professional road testers going into the extensive driving dynamics of this car but what I'm gonna do is tell you what it's like from my personal opinion I'm not a professional so let's start with the headline figures this car features the same 4.4 litre twin turbo V8 from the F10 M5 only producing more power 600 brake horsepower and 558 foot-pounds of torque to be precise. Now that's not the main talking point in this car. The main talking point is that it's different from any M car that's gone before. Now that's because this car features BMW's xDrive system. Now why is it featuring the xDrive system? This car has 600 brake horsepower. That's more than a Ferrari 458 Speciale. To put all that power down to the rear wheels in a large executive saloon would have been a very tall order for BMW. However, for you BMW rear wheel drive purists, don't fret. There is an option within this car to only use rear wheel drive. Now a word of caution with that one though. You have to be really, really on it to go into two wheel drive in this car on public roads. On a track, I imagine it's sublime. Country roads, however, four wheel drive sport is probably you. On the road this car doesn't actually feel like a four-wheel drive car and that's predominantly because most of the time it isn't. The front wheels only come into play when the rears lose a foothold on the road. That's the only time the front wheels come into play. The steering in this car is fantastic. The way that it holds the road is simply fantastic. It just holds. No matter what you do you can put your foot down in this car, any gear, any time and it just grabs, squats and goes. That's I think what is most impressive about this car is the way that it just absolutely flies. This isn't a light car by any means but the 0-60 to time is 3.4 seconds. Now that is an outrageous 0-60 to time for in essence a large executive saloon. It's supercar fast and it really feels supercar fast in here. Now, the four-wheel drive system means that you can drive this car however, in the, in the rain, in the snow, no matter what. This is a very, very usable car on a day-to-day -day basis. And this car's true breadth of abilities is stunning. Driving now, we're just in efficient, comfort, comfort. Everything's set, completely neutral, completely normal and in comfort settings. And it feels, now this is big praise, it feels just like a normal five series. Given, in, given the fact that this is a 600 horsepower monster that, as I've mentioned, can go from 0 to 62 in 3.4 seconds, it feels so comfortable, so quiet on the road. There's no sort of real indication of what lies underneath that bonnet. Now that sort of ties in with the way this car looks and feels inside. The looks 
to my to my mind anyway, it looks fantastic. But if you weren't a real car enthusiast, you could be forgiven for thinking this is an, a, a regular five series. However, it does have those extra little bits which make it very special. It's got the quad pipes on the rear, slightly more aggressive front end, um, and the M grills. Now, the one that I'm driving today also has the M Performance body kit, which gives it the front carbon fiber side uh, blades at the front, side skirts, rear diffuser, spoiler, and the black kidney grills on the front, which for me just adds a bit of theatre, a bit of drama ties it very very well with the carbon fiber roof. Now the thing that, that, that really gets me when I'm driving this car is just how easy it is. It's got a very big boot, it's got four doors, it's got loads of room in the back and you get all the creature comforts that you would expect on a regular 5 series. So as standard you get the large 10.9 inch iDrive screen with the brand new iDrive 6 uh, technology. You also get full surround view cameras. BMW M heads-up display, which changes depending on which mode you go in. You get the full digital cockpit as well. Now the interior in here is all built to such a high quality. It's 7 Series good. The interior in here, again like the outside, only really offers hints at what this car is capable of. For example, you get the little red M drive buttons, the red starter button and the new style M drive select uh, lever. All this ties in to give this car a very subtle rage in my opinion. The car really sort of hides the performance capabilities that it has very very well. On these twisty country roads it's so easy to place. The steering is so precise you can just place the car no matter where you want. This car is quite big, there's no doubt about it, it's a very big car but it gives you so much confidence when you're going through twisty small B roads that it just it doesn't feel the size and weight that it does. It's so, so easy. And I'll keep referring back to it, is the ease at which you can drive this car. It's 600 horsepower, but it's just so, so, so easy to drive. It's unbelievable. The steering wheel is perfectly sized in my opinion, perfect to use the paddles behind. Um, now the gearbox in this, has changed from the previous F10 M5. In that car it was a 7 speed DCT box, so dual clutch. In here it now features the familiar 8 speed ZF box. Now the reasons the BMW has done that is primarily because the DCT could not handle the sheer amount of torque in this car. It would just rip the gearbox apart. But I think this ZF box is a great, great upgrade if I'm honest. It's so smooth and so easy. You don't get the sort of bite of a, of a DCT when you go to move off as well as it's engaged in the clutch. Um, you may lack a very small amount of time between the gears, but it's so minuscule that you just you, you don't notice it on a day-to-day -day basis. It just makes this car so much easier to manoeuvre in car parks. If any of you have driven the previous DCT boxes, when manoeuvring around car parks, it can be quite tricky. Um, this is not. It's not tricky at all. It is an unbelievably usable car on a day-to-day -day basis and the power and the, the way that this car accelerates, it's just absolutely mind-blowing. Now in conclusion, I'll be completely honest, this is probably the best car I've ever driven, completely straight. I'll be extremely jealous of anybody that owns one of these because it is a true masterpiece. It's just the breadth of ability of this car. It does absolutely everything. In my mind, this is the perfect daily car. It is. I mean, you've got all the equipment, you've got all the usability, massive boot in the back, and then at the touch of a button, it turns from a soft, easy cruiser into an absolute animal. It's, it's truly sublime. As I say, it probably is the best car that I've ever driven. Now, thank you very, very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our Facebook for many more videos and more content to come with this car. We have got quite a bit planned with this car, as you can imagine. Now, thank you very, very much, and I will see you next time. Cheers.